Hey guys, so it's one day after the official due date, and guess what? We're still here. She's not here yet. No pains yet. So, since we're past the due date, I have to go back to see the doctor today at 4:30 p.m to find out what he says is he gonna send me up to the hospital am i gonna have to wait still so we'll see what happens and of course i'll keep you guys updated i've already gone to the hospital and paid for my admissions so right now it's just it's just a matter of time guys update from yesterday so the doctor um everything's okay with the baby with me um the cervix is still closed so i'm going to have to do some walking and if i don't get any pains this weekend um today or tomorrow i have to admit myself to the hospital on monday so that I can be induced on Tuesday. Hopefully, we don't get to that point. But if we do, I've already bought the pill at Jolly's um, to be induced at the hospital. So, we'll see how that goes. Just patiently waiting. So, today is Monday. No pains yet. So guess what that means? I'm on my way to admit myself to the hospital and hopefully something happens today. If not, I'm gonna be induced tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. to the ward just gonna wait the doctor says she doesn't think that anything is gonna happen tonight but we'll see what happens if nothing happens tonight i'm gonna be induced bright and early tomorrow morning i need to be up and ready to go before 7 a.m so looks like this girl is gonna be born on may 25th we'll see what happens this is my new home for like the next day yep okay guys so it is now tuesday morning i am still on strong up ward i've already showered i've eaten i still have no pain so i'm just waiting for the doctor to come so they can give me an update and take me to the labor room to be induced um but it doesn't look like this little lady is ready to come out just yet so we shall see what happens okay, so i am now in the, in the labor room waiting to be induced i'm here for like the next 30 minutes because they have to make sure that the baby is okay and then they're going to start 
inducing me so that I can start having contractions and hopefully before the end of the afternoon Miss Lady shall be here so mommy's here hi grandma <laughs> she excited about her grandchild yep. so the pills were just inserted to start inducing pain hopefully we have some pain within the next four hours because that's when the doctor will come back to check on me and yeah hopefully we have some pain soon so it is now 10 minutes after two o'clock um the four hour mark has passed since they inserted the first pill so the doctor came in and checked a while ago i am now 1.5 centimeters dilated and i have three to four contractions every 10 minutes so they're gonna keep monitoring me and we'll check back in the next four hours which is gonna be about 5 30 to see what's the progress um i'm getting a little impatient because i i feel like this process is long and drawn out um yeah so i don't feel a lot of pain which is what i said to the doctor and she I guess she thinks my pain threshold is very high because the monitor shows that the contractions are very intense. So I'm just here waiting patiently. And yeah, at least I have mommy there with me. Mommy anxious too. But you see her face? <laughs> Yeah. Five minutes after seven o'clock, still only 1.5 centimeters dilated. They just inserted another piece of peel that's supposed to be increasing my pain is zero pain they're gonna check me again at 10 15 and we'll see what happens then after 13 hours in labor my baby girl is finally here and the 13 hours were so worth it so worth it my child is all that matters oh my god i'm so excited i have my own little baby like whew, i'm so super excited the pain was worth every second Hi, baby Zolani. It's nice to have you home. We were finally. Long, finally, we were long awaiting you, baby girl. We are happy to have you. Welcome. Granny is so excited to have you. Granny is number one princess. That's Granny's number one princess. Mwah. Love you, baby. I support through everything. Ooh. Oh, you have no idea. Pushing my baby out and getting her placed on my chest. Whoa. That head full of hair. Ooh. Oh my god. Best feeling in the world. So it's no longer a cranberry pregnancy journey. No, it's the motherhood journey. <laughs> 